uh, these listings of what it is that is the qualities of divine masculine and then the wounded masculine. Because here we are in this world and what have we um, been learning from? We've been learning from the men and women in our life who are either expressing the d divine uh, masculine or divine feminine or the wounded state, or we could call it the shadow state, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna read these off because what it did for me is it helped me to see where like where I am in my sovereignty and where I am in my shadow state. And I think this is important. It's important that we look at these things. This is such a crucial thing because if our world is gonna come to balance, it requires us to come to balance. It requires me and you to do our work, to open to these higher frequencies of love and allow it to do its work. So let's start with the divine masculine. The divine masculine takes action and initiative, is stable, secure, protective, highly present, strong leader, provider, giving, Courageous, assertive, logical and decisive, purpose-driven, reliable and respected, courageous and confident, grounded, focused and disciplined, integrated in mind and heart. And the wounded masculine is unstable controlling and demanding, aggressive and intimidating, withdrawn and avoidant, indecisive and ambivalent, overly competitive, manipulative, dishonest, untrustworthy, selfish, emotionally unavailable, unable to access the heart, frustrated, and destructive, narrow-minded, weak leader. Just invite you to breathe that in for a moment. I don't know about you, but I recognize both qualities in myself from both the divine um, side and also the wounded side. Also, saw the influence of, of culture and family, where those things were demonstrated and where my wounds have taken place. Now let's move to the divine feminine. Divine feminine is intuitive and highly spiritual, receptive and responsive, magnetic and radiant, healing and nurturing, compassionate and loving, creative and inspired, vulnerable, expressive and speaks truth, open and surrendered, relaxed, trusting, patient, supportive and empathetic, formless and flowing, feeling oriented, abundant, and fertile, wise, and virtuous. The wounded feminine is insecure, needy, unworthy, inauthentic, manipulative, victim, overly emotional, codependent, Gossips, lack of boundaries, people-pleasing, negative, unconfident, helpless and powerless, and creatively stifled. As I read these, I looked upon what was shown to me growing up and realized that so much was in the shadow state. So much. Does anybody here relate to that? You re can you relate to what was demonstrated to us? And then 
what I know for myself is we each come into this life, each of us a unique combination of both of these qualities, 